So boom, what is up you guys? This is Nick with Fresh on Our Fleet, and I'm here to bring you guys a new video and check it out. It's the stuff that I did find, but not on camera. Been waiting into this for a while. Before I get into this, I do want to mention a lot of people do ask me, do I sell? And yes, I do. Some people don't see in the videos, but hey, check it out. Link is down below. It is on my Depop. So some of the items you're going to see today are going to be on there. A lot of these pieces I didn't get to show on the videos, but I do post them up on my Instagram. That's why I always say, check out my Instagram, you guys, at their mixed eyes. I post daily. But no further ado, let's get into it. So first off, it is this Prada Safiano leather coin purse. And check this out, you guys. I mean, finding on the good one, it was just in the case. And you guys can see right there in the picture, $13.99 for the Safiano leather. In the other you guys would say just pink, right? But this is actually a Geranio uh, colorway, uh, Prada colorway stuff, right? Uh, doesn't need too much work. Just needs a little uh, touch up on the paint or on the edges. But other than that, it's good to go. Overall, the zipper works amazing. It's just incredible the condition it's in. I mean, the picture speaks for itself. And it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Um, did have to legit check it right away. And it's the 211 in there and everything. And then the made in uh, Spain. So that, that was just an awesome cop. Again, $13.99. I believe a lot of people were hitting me up with it and they were saying that, um, you know, use around $150. But I believe it's around like $300. Bucks. Just a great cop overall because of the price. So onto that, these are the Gucci 31847470W uh, glasses in the clear colorway, I believe, the front right there. But as you can see, that is a clean piece. And I mean a clean piece. Now, that's crazy. Again, I got these for $5.99. Right, comps that I did find that they were going for around 200 bucks, so that is an awesome find. Again, I like coming up on Gucci, man. You know, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't like the made in Italy, right? The trades are all awesome, they're all like whoever used it just used it for reading glasses. You can see they didn't drop it or anything. Crazy thing is, it's got the little uh diagonal pattern, kind of like the monogram, as well as the double G's blaring out on the side. That's where it's all about, you guys. Um, presentation. 200 plus for some glasses I found for six bucks. I mean, who doesn't love that? And Paolo Gucci said it best, was that quality is remembered long after price is forgotten. And Gucci is a testament to that. Another steal. Now to that, I had to do these two together because they are vintage Burberry's. If you guys didn't know that Burberry, the company you guys know today, was Burberry's. I also do have a driver's cap that's up here somewhere. And um, again, when I found it, thought it was fake, picked it up anyway, and guess what? Vintage. I do have a few scarves also, and it's crazy. I still held on to them. One's cashmere, one's wool, and they both share the Burberry's tag. But that's another story. Let's get into polos, you guys. Yes, I did post it up on Instagram. This one got a little bit of praise and acclaim, but this one blew up, and that's what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, who doesn't love the Nova Check? Look at that. Nova Check print all over this thing. It's crazy. What, what was the price? What was the price? So yes, this one's a little more expensive, $11.99 for it, but hey, it is worth it for this look. I mean, the condition's insane. A lot of these pieces, they come through Goodwill and they get all like dirty, they got like holes and stuff like that, but checking it out is just not even a ring around the collar. Who knows, who remembers that? Who remembers that com old commercial, ring around the collar? But look at that, the tag looks pristine, amazing, 100% cotton, and guess what? Made in USA, it's always good. The Novacek is the biggest one, I mean, everybody knows that. And then for this one, $3.98, local thrift store, was the Burberry's again 100% cotton made in USA again but is the classic classic logo embroidered and guess what you can literally go today to the Burberry website and go buy a remake of this one which is crazy because they're bringing it back all these companies bring it back what's going on nostalgia I mean I believe it's crazy because it goes for 290 okay and like I was telling you <laughs> like I was telling some people on Instagram or I posted up a picture who's into it who's into the, uh, the newer stuff or are you into the OG and like I said, I'm going OG all day. Now some more high-end finds, right? Check this out, a Gianni Versace uh, portfolio. The inside tag is not there. That's the only thing. Now if this is bootleg, it's a great bootleg because you can see the uh, Medusa head here does have Gianni Versace. The inside is very clean. Uh, this is actually made out of leather. So that's a good sign alone. Uh, it does have a leather patch on the inside. Let's see right there, a little card holder. It does say Gianni Versace. I'll show the picture on that. Uh, does have Johnny Versace on the inside. I mean, if it's fake, it's fake. I do love coming up on this stuff though. And look, right here, that's the only damage I can see. It has a little strap that actually would have been like this, and it has a little holder. I mean, other than that, like I said, it's a clean piece, and what gives it a nice touch are the Medusa head zipper pulls. That is just awesome. I'll show a picture of that also. I am very surprised by this thing because this one isn't in the section for the back section. This was in the back and it was just hiding around uh, as if someone put it down. Because again, 10 bucks is 10 bucks and I might take a chance on it, but someone else may not. 
that's how it goes. To the victor goes to spoils. Another one in the collection. Definitely gotta rock the 424s with this thing. Check it out, Medusa, meet Medusa. Now to that, this one's a big find because this was a big logo, going back to the vintage Nike, like I always like, you like the green brim? Yeah. So check this out, big logo, Nike Air crew neck. So I did find this one, posted up on my Instagram, you guys, like I said, a couple weeks back. It's just a crazy print. Again, the little older tag, you know, not too gray, right? But what's, cr what's messed up about it, it's right here. This little tiny bleach print. But again, that could be fixed. You know, you can match up this colorway because ugh, the print is amazing. It's barely cracking the Nike Air. Not the Nike Swoosh logo, but the Nike Swoosh with the Air on the bottom. That is just amazing, you guys. And this is what I love coming up on. This is why I'm still holding on to it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. You best believe I'm trying to keep this one in the collection as much as I can. But if I fix it up, sell it off, check it on the Depop. So I'm bring some nostalgia back to you guys. So check this one. It's going back 1999 Nintendo Pokemon folder. You guys can see it's got the big, big, big Pokeballs on there, as well as Pikachu on the front in the Pokedex, as well as Meowth. You know, these were the classic characters of the original show. This, this was my 6:30 morning waking up to watch an episode. Uh, coming out and that's what it was crazy man when this came out what's insane is that i still have my game boy camera and the crazy thing is back in the day i got this and inside this before pokemon even came out this had the pokemon stickers inside of it so you could take a picture and post stickers and i remember not understanding what are these characters i'm seeing what are these monsters and it turns out they were pokemon the more you know. Pick this one for three bucks. I had to pick it up. I still do have my Pokemon cards, some of them. I'm still looking for my Charizard. Did find it in a pack back in the day, and that's what it was all about. Now, so that, you guys, I did pick up, yes, the 1999. I didn't show this one on Instagram yet, but it was the two handed puppet cat dog. You guys remember the show from Nickelodeon? This is going back to the childhood right now. I don't know if you guys remember the song, all right? Let's see if I can put my hands in here and do it, all right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. One fine day when a wolf met a purr, baby was born in Columbus. There are no who but I don't see how wrong be like and I live cat dog, cat dog. That's how it is, you guys. That's how I remember it, and that's what always Winslow, Lola, you guys gotta remember, man. I did pick this one for four bucks. I just had to, and look, it was still in its package, considering it's still in its package. It's still it's still tied in, look at that. It's an amazing cop and nostalgic feeling when you buy this stuff, right? So I'm gonna tie this together, you guys, with this was, um, these are new, this is a newer find, okay? It, I did post one of these before that I did find. I've been coming on these steadily in the weeks and I have to show it now. Check this out, an entire plethora of Call Me 917 Really Sorry hoodies as well as a t-shirt. Check these out, okay? okay there's the t-shirt right here, but look, I got, I got green and XL, I got a medium one, and I also got a large in pink. And, and, and the thing is, these were called the Really Sorry hoodies, and I didn't realize, but this was like the old flip tag. I literally found one old flip skateboard t-shirt, and <laughs> it came with that tag on it. It's black, and you can barely see it, it's that old. It's bagged up right now, but that's the tag, and it would have said flip, and that's why the 917 looks like that. It's just crazy. Reminds me of the Sorry video. That's bringing it back. Um, I did pick these up. I mean, all of them varied. I'm just gonna say $6 each because that's what the hoodies are at Goodwill, but that's crazy. I mean, you can pick these up at Union LA right now. I believe it's 75 bucks. I know there's some of the places going for 100, but these are brand new. At least they don't, I mean, they don't have tags, but you could smell them. It's got that smell, that brand new smell of clothing. And with that also, uh, for I'm hoping, so this one was $3.99 and it's a nine, again, call me 917 t-shirt. For some reason, the good was getting all these. Now, where are they coming from? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. The only thing I care about is that I came up on it, and guess what? They're right here. So like I said, check out the Depop, you guys. I'm stuck. So let's put it all together now. I just want to say thank you for watching. It's just awesome because, like I said, I'm doing this every so often, and I do have little chances to go. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about because you guys are thrifters too. Well, some of you. Some days you go in, you go all out. You'll stay there for four hours, three hours, different places, right? And sometimes you just got a little bit of time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you stop into one place, one stop shopping sometimes. And that's how it goes with all these finds. These are quick finds that I did pick up, and they weren't even together. Those Burberry's were picked up separately, and that's crazy that those Burberry's are coming out. And the fact that they, the white one, okay, though being the white one should have some stains on it for being that old, but no, nothing. Uh, the Versace, the, the Prada, I mean, these are all high-end finds that you wouldn't even expect, but they're there. But they're not there when I'm like filming and I'm, I'm 
going to different places filming one video. It's very difficult sometimes, and that's the, the that's the best part about it, and that's the worst part about it. You never know when I'm come up and what day. Oh yeah, and if you guys do follow, <laughs> and if you guys do follow the Instagram, I did find this one in one of the videos. But look what I came up on this one. Look how huge this one is. I didn't even know. Okay, four bucks. Okay, and this one was like, this one was sixty-seven cents. It's come up season. I mean, what do I got to say right here? What? Don't talk to me or my son ever again. But yes, we got to thank Blinky for the video right here. Let's wrap it up, you guys. But like I always say, I'm going to slow it down for you guys. Hit that sub button. There's more videos coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.